guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here, and welcome to what I guess you could probably call episode zero of the online career mode. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, as I know a few of you probably have already known, as we've been teasing to it a little bit on Twitter, but both myself and three of the other biggest career mode YouTubers out there are going to be competing in a little online career mode tournament that we've put together. Both myself, B Ford Lancer, Jared HD, and S2G. We've been teasing it on Twitter for a little bit, but it's nearly time to get it started. This is pretty much a tournament where every single person builds their own team through a draft and we will be showing you the results of the draft very soon and what my team is going to look like. But basically we put our teams together via a draft. We then compete two games each against every single player in the competition. And at the end of the competition we take a look at the ladder, the table to see who ends up on top and who wins the online career mode. There are some other more specific rules with how the tournament's going to work to make it an online career mode tournament, but we'll get to those a little bit later for now. Let's focus on the actual draft itself. How the draft was going to work was that every single player got to pick one 90 rated player to be their captain, two 85 or higher rated players, then four 80 rated players or higher, and then every single other player that everyone got to pick had to be 79 rated or lower. Now the draft was interesting because we weren't just picking the best players possible, no. We were also thinking about potentials because this is one of the big things about this online career mode. For every goal that a player scores, their overall will increase. For every assist a player gets, their overall will increase. If you get a clean sheet, all the goalkeepers and the defenders get an overall increase as well. And you can basically grow your player to as high as their set potential is in game. So rather than take a guy who let's say is 84 rated and only has 85 potential, you'd want to maybe take a player that's 84 rated with like a 90 potential in the event that you can get him up to his full potential. That is what made the draft very, very interesting. But who would get the number one pick? I guess we'll have to find out. Let's see who got it. Come on, give me some hype building up to this, boys. Let's go. A little bit of hype, sorry. Well, I yeah. think it's because no one wants the first pick. Everyone wants like the second or yeah. third pick. The first pick goes to. I'm going to get it now, trust me. Here we go. I, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> You're damn right. I got the number one pick in the draft. And how funny, because I kind of was like, well, I didn't even really know if I wanted. I wanted, I was wondering at the time, do I try to go for like the second or third pick to try to take a few uh, decent, like two good players really quickly? Because again, by getting the first pick, I then missed out on like seven other picks after that, or like six other picks. But still, I wasn't going to complain. And in my eyes, there was only one player I was going to possibly take. All right, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to get my Adam Silver on. With the first pick, in the 2020 online career mode Y League draft, the Master Buck selects Kylian Mbappe from France out of PSG. Mbappe was the obvious choice, 89 rated, wasn't the captain either, so I was saving my 90 rated pick there as well. But he's the highest potential player in the game, and he's just a beast in general, so I was always going to take him. But anyway, let me show you the rest of the draft and show you everybody else that I ended up picking. Go, go with that French connection. I'm gonna take Neymar for the eighth pick, so 92, and he becomes my captain. I'm gonna take Paolo Dybala, I reckon, ladies and gentlemen. I was gentlemen. actually gonna go for him uh, with my last pick, but that's solid, that's a fair shout. Yeah, okay, so Neymar and, and, and yeah, and Dybala. All right, I'll take that, I'll take that. I'm gonna take Marcus Rashford, actually. So, 84 solid. rated, 89 potential. Okay, we'll, we'll go with Rashford. Okay, this may be a bit of a strange pick, I know. But I'm going to go with Paul Lopez from Roma. Okay, he's 83 rated. He's got 88 potential, so we can That's get good. up to somewhere good. But I just needed to get that goalkeeper in. No, actually, stop it. I'm going to go with the centre-back. I'm going to go with uh, Alessio Romagnoli. So he will be my first defender that I pick up. 83 rated and 89. I'm going to go with uh, Renan Lodi from Atletico Madrid, the Brazilian. Fuck. Yeah, there it <laughs> is. There it is. I knew I was going to get one. <laughs> That was my next pick as well. I'm going to go with a centre back here, Ibrahim Konate from mm, RB Leipzig. Yeah. I'm going to take a man by the name of Palacios, uh, who's playing for Leverkusen, Argentinian with 88 potential. Well, one pick I am going to take is another defender, a right back. I'm going to take Audrey Zola from uh, Bayern Munich. Hmm, he's a little lower rated, but I'm going to go with him anyway. Eduardo Camavinga, ladies Ooh. and gentlemen. 
75 yes. rated, but 86 potential. This is a Uruguayan with 85 potential, 77 rated. His name is De La Cruz. No, I know who he is, but yeah, you, you got yeah, him. Yeah, De La Cruz. He's, uh, I think he actually might be a, a tiny little bloody player for me, that. I'm going to go with... Um, hmm... Let's take Ryan Sessegnon. Ryan Sessegnon is a good little utility player. Yes, I knew that the Fulham fan, I know he doesn't play for you anymore, but I knew that you'd be sort of eyeing him up. I'm going to take Ryan Sessegnon. He's under the back, radar. Mid left wing, got that whole left side covered. Okay, I went for like a utility player, someone that can play down every side on the left uh, with Sessegnon. I'm going to do the same here with Adama Traore, who is 78 rated, 84 potential. 78 rated, 88 potential, and the hero for Watford against Liverpool. I'm going to go if he hasn't been taken again. I don't think he has. Ishmael Assar. And I reckon I might go with a man by the name of Alexander Isak. Six foot four, 86 potential. So I'm going to go with Isak. Argentinian by the name of Zaracho. No. Not yeah. taken? No. Okay. Federico Matias Zaracho. The goalkeeper I'm going to take is Alban Lafont. So we'll take Lafont. Um, and I think he's relatively solid in game. I'm going to take Renato Sanchez. Nice. I was looking at him, yeah. He still has, yeah. he's got like 85 potential still, right? 86 or something? I don't know. 85 potential. That's what he's got. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go with a man by the name of uh, Luis Felipe, I believe is how you pronounce that one. Okay. There's a man with 86 potential called Tap Sober, who's playing for uh, is a Ghanaian, a Ghanaian playing for Lady Hughes. And so I'm going to go with Luis Felipe and Tap Sober. Oh, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with taking a meme pick. I just, I'm not funny enough to think of someone. <laughs> I didn't want to say, oh, Marilyn Fellaini. But um, I'm going to give a nod to one of my, um, to my current running career mode, absolute legend. We call him the Japanese Messi. This man is Takipusa Kubo. So at the end of that draft, I had formed my team. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how it looks. Okay, we have got in goal, Paul Lopez. I have maybe revealed my formation, my team, and maybe some of the other guys are watching this and going, hmm, interesting, but stuff it. Uh, I don't care. Paul Lopez in goal. Uh, we've got a back line, of course, Renan Lodi. I don't know. I, I, at the time, I was like, what have I done? I'm an idiot for not taking Davies. I can't believe I just forgot about him, basically. But you look at his stats, you look at his pace, he is still a fine left back, and arguably even better in game than Davies is right now, just a lack of pace, but who cares? I still think he should be solid. We have got Romagnoli in there too. We've got Konate as my centre-back partnership and Audrey Zola at right back. My midfield includes Renato Sanchez, a very well-rounded player. I wish he was a little taller, but that's still okay. We've got Nicolas De La Cruz, who's a guy that I have not picked up yet. Five foot six, but he looks like a great attacking midfielder. And of course, Dybala was another one of my 85 or higher rated players to go alongside, of course, the man Kylian Mbappe there. My captain, of course, Neymar. I'm not too disappointed with that pick. Of all the 90 rated players I want to get, I didn't know if I wanted to waste like a midfield pick on him or even a defender, to be fair. Like I know Van Dyke was taken with the 90th pick. Like that was very interesting. But regardless, um, Neymar for me, I was happy with that one. And on top of that, Rashford at the right mid position. That's where I'm playing him, even though, yes, he is a left mid. But just look at that front three. 92 pace, 96 pace, 91 pace. And all their shooting, passing, and dribbling stats are like 85 rated or higher. That team, that front three, looks sick. I'm actually very happy with this whole starting 11. But now for the substitutes, though. We've got Alban Lafont, who's got basically similar potential to Paul Lopez, but is lower overall. So I might not start him. We've got Luis Felipe, Zaracho, Camavinga, who I know can become a beast as well from the Masters FC career mode. Session Young's a good left mid slash left back player that I can use to replace Neymar or Renan Lodi, I would imagine. We've got Alexander Isak with five-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, plenty of pace for a tall guy. I think he'd be a nice little, you know, surprise package if I wanted to throw him in there. Adama Traore can also play that right wing position and the right back position if I need to. And then the reserves, of course, Kubo I picked up just because I 
Last pick, may as well grab another Masters FC legend. Ishmael Asar, uh, Ezekiel Palacios as well. And then tap sober another defender too. Having looked at a lot of the other teams that have been selected for B Ford, for Jared, and for, for S2G, I think some of them have got some pretty good teams, but they all have their weaknesses. I'm looking here, I can't see, at least in my starting 11, much of a weak. Like my front three is amazing, my midfield is pretty damn solid, I would imagine, for Sanchez, De La Cruz, Dabala. Plenty of pace in there as well as good ability. And then my back line is pretty strong and obviously very high potential. Lopez in goal. Maybe I could have gotten a slightly better goalkeeper, but there aren't too many 84, 83 rated goalkeepers with super high potential I could have gone for. Maybe Thomas Trakosha. But in the end, we went with Lopez. And I, I don't particularly mind. But there we have it though, ladies and gentlemen. That will be my team for the online career mode. And I hope that you will join me for it and cheer me on because... Uh, Ah, uh, look, I know it's all fun and games, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a crack. We'll see what we can do with this team. I want to try to get as many of my players as possible to max potential. So we'll see how many I'll be able to get. I will have three videos on the online career mode. I've got B4 up first. Then I believe I've got S2G and then finishing it off against Jared HD. There'll be one game on my channel and then the other game against me will be on their channels. So yeah, just be sure that you get around it. Make sure you go check out all the other videos when they do come out over on B4 channel s2gs and jared hds because this is going to be an awesome little tournament i can i can tell this is going to be sick